I became a doctor, I thought, when I was three years old, and I went with my dad to round on patients in the hospital. So I grew up with a parent as a physician, working the sidelines as he took care of high school athletes. And for me, it always seemed like the greatest job in the world. I'm Casey Humbird, and I am chief of the foot and ankle division at Penn Orthopedics. My uh, clinic days, I can see patients ranging from ages 13 to 100. So I see the entire spectrum of adolescent through adulthood. I'll see kids with congenital foot problems, recurrent ankle sprains, and high school athletes. I see a lot of athletes with bad ankle sprains, Achilles ruptures, people who can't get back to sports, a lot of tendon pathology, as well as cartilage injuries to the ankle. And then as folks um, get older, I do a lot of tendon reconstruction for chronic disease tendons, as well as treatment of arthritis. As someone who does ethics work, I find that shared decision-making in terms of how we approach the best treatment for the patient is really important. Many times, uh, surgery is the right answer, but it isn't always, and trying to help patients sort out when that's the right approach for them. The interesting thing about elective surgery is that there generally isn't a right or a wrong answer. And so what I always try and counsel patients is it's not what I would do, it's what you would do with your values if you had my level of knowledge. And so my goal is to try and educate patients about the disease process and then the appropriate treatment options. Orthopedics is very much a full body contact sport, but when I have a patient who hasn't been able to walk, you know, a rheumatoid patient with a severe deformity and you swing the whole foot around and get their foot back underneath their leg and you get them out of a wheelchair. And it's really fun to do the surgery itself. There's really nothing more rewarding than that. And it's such an honor and a privilege to get to do it.